good morning dear class 7 students dear students let us continue the third chapter with the point ozone layer depletions so the depletions means reducing ozone layer is reducing day by day in the atmosphere so how this reduction of ozone layer is affecting the earth its living beings and also the weather condition so let us begin the paragraph then the stratosphere contains a layer of ozone gases so stratosphere is the atmospheric area which contains the ozone gas the ozone layer is found approximately 20 to 40 kilometers above the earth's surface so this ozone layer is almost found uh, in the atmosphere almost 20 to 40 kilometers from the earth's surface from the earth ground it protects the earth from the ultraviolet rays emitted by the sun and this ozone layer protects the earth uh, from the ultraviolet rays which is sent by the sun to the atmosphere as well as to the earth exposures to ultraviolet rays can be harmful so dangerous exposed exposure means to dangerous ultraviolet rays can be harmful it causes hair loss so due to this ultraviolet rays we can lose our hair we can face skin cancer and also there will be a problem of birth deformities that means there will be a danger for we call the <coughs> abnormal birth conditions in human as well as in animals ultraviolet rays can also have adverse effects on plant growth so ultraviolet rays not only it is dangerous for the human being as well as the animals but also it is dangerous for the plant trees and other living creatures in recent years a depletion of ozone layer has been observed so in recent years we could see that the ozone layer is slowly reducing and that has been very well observed by the uh, scientists especially near the poles a major factor contributing to this depletion why the ozone layer is reducing in the atmosphere that is due to cer certain reasons like here the emissions of the chlorofluorocarbon and bromofluorocarbons into the atmosphere in significant amount so due to chlorofluorocarbon and bromochlorofluorocarbons uh, the ozone layer is slowly getting down or we call is reducing depletions of the ozone layer is one of the leading cause of global warming and reducing of the ozone layer in the atmosphere or in the in the earth is one of the leading reason one of the main reason of causing the global warming or happening the global warming now let us talk about the impact of global warming so due to global warming what are the problem can happen so let us go through with this all points so the global warming is a slow process so global warming is happening in really slow process it is not taking uh, suddenly or immediately it increases the earth's temperature by a few degree over several decades so 
the earth is having a increment in temperature after 10 years or in the duration of 10 years however these small changes in temperature can affect life on earth severely but this increase uh, increment of temperature in the atmosphere can affect the earth very badly some of the effects of global warming are first we have melting of ice the ice caps near the poles including glaciers the ice sheets of west antarctica and greenland and arctic sea have started melting as result of the global warming due to global warming we can see that in the pole areas and the snow areas like antarctica and greenland the ice is melting and then this is due to the global warming these all ice and so on are melting in the certain areas now rise in the sea level if the earth's temperature can uh, continues to rise up or grow off the global sea level may rise about 20 to 10 centimeter every decade so the temperature is continuously growing up and then in every 10 years the temperature is almost 20 to 10 centimeters it may cause flood in countries near the coast near the sea coast such as Bangladesh and the Netherlands it may also submerge many islands in the Asian Pacific region and it may also the many towns and many cities can also get drawn in the water due to the global warming so dear students we will see in other video to the next point let us continue the same topic with the migration and extinction of the animals so the global warming can cause many animals to migrate in search of suitable habitats so due to the global warming many animals and birds they are leaving their places or we call the living places and they are moving towards the other places where the weather is suitable to survive or to live some species of foxes butterflies and plants have already moved to colder climates so some of the animals they have moved to the other places where the climate is cold where they can survive without any difficulty these types of migration can disturb to the food chain and lead to extinct of many species so when the animals are leaving their previous places and moving to the new places so the some of the animals who depend on these migrated animals for the food then the animals who are living still in the previous places they may not get the food for their survival and slowly they they may die and then we could see that the the group of animals may slowly extinct and die in the last 30 years the number of early penguins in antarctica decreased from 32000 breedings pairs to 11000 so this is due to the global warming happening that even the penguins and the other animals who, are, who live in the coldest areas they are decreasing due to the unfavorable weather condition and that all are happening due to the global warming now let us discuss about the extreme weather condition global warming may lead to frequent hurricanes hurricane means the strong storm drought drought means that the 
for so many years in certain area the rain may not happen or it may not rain and floods in different parts of the world so in some places the huge floods are taking place there has already been an increase in the average rain and snowfall precipitations across the world now food shortage climatic change are happening due to global warming even the climate is changing uh, day by day this is uh, this in turn will lead to food shortage especially in the area undergoing deforestation or desert uh, desertification so since the global warming is happening every part of the world and the weather condition is not suitable climate is not suitable so the living creatures may face food shortage shortage means they may face lack of food especially the area where the areas are becoming what is called dry there's no proper rain there is no proper uh we'd call the uh climatic conditions where they can they can cultivate the foods or the crops now let us talk about ways to reduce global warming how to reduce the global warming that is what we have to look for the ways the new ideas global warming can cause serious damage to the ecosystem and weather condition ecosystem means the living beings and the weather pattern as a responsible citizen we can follow certain simple guidelines to reduce global warming as a simple citizen we can follow the certain guidelines to reduce the global warming so number one replace light bulb with fluorescent light bulbs so this is our duty to replace the light bulb with the fluorescent light bulbs which is introduced in the market these days and these all bulbs may reduce the less global warming or they may reduce the less temperature now fluorescent bulbs consume about 70 percent less energy than uh, incidence light bulbs turn off the lights when don't need them and whenever we don't need light at home or in the houses then it is our duty to turn off them or to switch switch them off so in this way we can save at least 30 percent of the light energy number two use energy efficient uh, appliances that consume less energy and then we should use the less energy appliances that can com consume less energy they also reduce your electric bill and carbon footprint switch off appliances when not in use so it is talking about the lights fans and other we would call the machines when they are no, these, these are not required then it is better to switch off them now next one emphasis on using solar energy to heat water and light homes and offices so we should emphasize we should much focus on using solar energy to heat to heat waters that means in the winter season most people like to take bath in the hot water uh, so this cold water is heated by the we call the electricity so it is better to heat the bathing water that should be done with the solar energy or the solar plates next one use public transport or other options like carpooling and cycling 
for traveling this will also save fuel cost and another point is talking about that we should must mo mostly focus on the car carpooling and the cycling and uh, that is for the traveling that is for going from one place to the other we should do cycling and so on so this way we can save the fuel fuel cost so next we have here use clean fuel like compressed natural gas and unleaded unleaded petrol to run vehicles so dear students and here we have the next point follow the t 3r principle reduce reuse and recycle reduce the use of paper plastics bottle and metals find out new ways to reduce things for example old types or tires or buckets can be used to grow plants recycle paper plastic materials and metals and this said we have plant more trees and adapt the initiate various afforations and refor uh, program use pressure cooker for cooking it requires less time to cook food and save up to 70% of energy use lids on vessels while cooking lids means we can say dakkan and while cooking food we should use the pressure cooker next one use the washing machine or dish washers especially use them only on full load so the washing machine and this water should be used not timely not always but sometimes and in this way uh, we can save the electricity and so on so we have the chapter we have completed so in the next video we will see the another chapter fourth chapter so let us end the discussion here thank you